Hello guys, we are from group 6 I am Aleika Koza, as narrator Erika Dorofiani, as Kelly Gray, the manager And Srinu Satarigan as John Huang, the controller Enjoy the video guys! Kelly Gray, production manager, is upset with the latest performance record which indicate that C was $100,000 over budget. Given the effort that C and her workers had met, she was confident that they had met or beat the budget. Now, she was not only upset but also generally puzzled over the result. Three items, which is direct labor, power, and setups. Where over the budget? The actual cost for these three items, the drink labor, $210,000, power, $135,000, setups, $140,000, so the total, $485,000. Kelly knew that the her operation had produced more units than originally had been budgeted. So, more power and labor had naturally been used. She also knew that the uncertainty in scheduling had led to more setup than planned. When she pointed this out to John Huang, the controller he assured her that the budgeted cost had been adjusted for the increase in productive activity. Curious? Kelly question. John about the method. from the original plan level. We adjust the budget by using budget formula. Formula that allows you to predict what the cost will be different level of activity. The approach is understandable. However, I'm sure something is wrong here. Can you tell me exactly you adjust the cost of direct labor, power, and setups? Okay, first, we obtain power formula for the individual in the budget by using the method of least square. We assume that cost variation can be explained by variation in productive activity, where activity is measured by direct labor hours. Here is a list of cost formula for the three items you mentioned. The, final, the variable x is the number of direct labor hours. First, labor cost, labor cost equal $10 x. And the second is power cost. Power cost equal $5,000 plus $4 X. And the last is setup cost. Setup cost equal $100,000. I think I see the problem. Power cost don't have a lot to do with the direct labor hours. They have more to do with the machine hours. And as production increases, machine hours more rapidly than direct labor hours. Also, you know, you have a point. The coefficient of determination for our cost is only about 50%. That leaves a lot of unexplained cost variation. The coefficient for labor, however, is much better. It explains about 96% of the cost variation, and the setup costs, of course, are fixed. direct labor hours and I might add that they certainly are not fixed. At least for all of them, we had to do more setups than our original plan both because of the scheduling changes and we have to pay our people when they work extra hours. It seems us we are always paying overtime. I wonder if we simple do not have enough for the 
setup activity, supplies are used for each setup. And these are not cheap. So, did you grill this extra cost of increased setup activity into the budget? No, we assume the setup cost were fixed. As you know that some of the both vary as the number of setup increases. Kelly, let me see if I can develop some cost formula based on the better expeditory variables. I'll get back with you in a few days. Okay, thank you, Mr. John. Okay. Assume that after a few days work, John developed the following cost formula all with a coefficient of determination greater than 90%. $110,000. Then the total cost of power is $135,000. Then the total cost of setups is $140,000. So the total of actual cost is $485,000. As we can see, the number of direct labor hours X is $20,000. For budget cost of direct labor is $10 multiplied by X, so the amount is $200,000. Then the budget cost of power is $5,000 plus $4 multiplied by X, so the amount is $85,000. Then the budget cost of setups is $100,000. So the total of budget cost is $385,000. Finally, we can get the budget variance of direct labor is $10,000 unfavorable. Then the budget variance of power is $50,000 unfavorable, then the budget variance of setups is $40,000 unfavorable. So the total of budget variance is $100,000 unfavorable. Require number two, prepare a performance report for your labor, power, and setups using the multiple cost driver formulas that John developed. The actual cost of direct labor is $210,000. The actual cost of power is $135,000. Then the actual cost of setups is $140,000. So the total of actual cost is $485,000. As we can see that the budget cost is $10 multiplied by X where X is direct labor hours. So the amount is $200,000. Then the budget cost of power is $68,000 plus 0.9 multiplied by Y, where Y is machine hours. So the amount is $149,000. Then the budget cost of setups is $98,000 plus $400 multiplied by Z, where Z is number of setups. So the amount is $142,000. So the total of budget cost is $385,000. Finally, we can see the budget variance of direct labor is $10,000 unfavorable. Then the budget variance of power is $14,000 favorable. Then the budget variance of setups is $2,000 favorable. So the total of budget variance is $26,000 of required number three. Of the two approaches, which provides the more accurate picture of Kelly's performance. Why? The answer, from both, 
we can see that the dual cost driver approach is more effective than the direct labor based approach because it includes the interaction of cause and effect cost. Require number better performance measurement approach than comparing actual cost with budget costs, even if activity flexible budget were used. Do you agree or disagree? Explain. The answer, I agree, because non value added cost per report focuses on cost savings and is also aligned with sustainable management. Flexible budget performance reports, even those using an activity based balance budget emphasized, static budget efficiency while ignoring cost reductions.